Cranky, Thomas and Friends. To the Trains. This is a story about Cranky the Crane. He worked at the docks on the island of Sodor. He played tricks on the engines to get them into trouble. But one day Cranky needed the engines help. Thomas and Percy liked working at the docks, so when the Fat Controller told them they would be working there for two weeks, they could hardly wait. But when they arrived at the docks, there was a new crane there called Cranky. Cranky was always moody, and he was called Thomas and Percy's useless little bugs. The two engines were very upset. They told Gordon and James about how rude Cranky had been. To their surprise, James and Gordon backed up Cranky. He saw high up in the air, said James. Facing the wind, rain and sunshine, that's no wonder he looks down and sees you as annoying little bugs. Thomas and Percy hoped Cranky would stop being so mean to them. The next day, Cranky played a trick on Thomas. He told him to move the trucks to the outer track. Thomas was surprised, but he did as he was told. When the fat controller arrived, Cranky said, I asked Thomas to put those trucks in the inner truck, but he's put them on the outer truck, where I can't reach them, and Percy won't do as he's told either. The fat controller was furious. He sent the engines back to the station in disgrace. Thomas and Percy were shocked. Cranky was making it all up. A storm raged across the island of Sodor that night. At the Fat Controller station, Thomas and Percy talked about Cranky. They were upset that the Fat Controller had believed his lies. They wondered if they'd ever be allowed to work at the docks again. If Cranky is going to continue being nasty to us, then I don't want to work at the docks anyway, Thomas said. Percy had to agree. At the docks, the wind and rain was lashing down on Cranky. He wasn't worried though, he thought he was much stronger than any storm. In the shed nearby, Duck, James and Gordon were listening to the storm. They thought they were safe there, but they were wrong. A huge steamer had got loose and it was heading straight to the docks. The steamer ran aground. It charged through the docks, crashing into the shed and knocking over Cranky. Duck, Gordon and James were trapped. They called to Cranky for help, but Cranky had fallen onto his side, so he needed rescuing too. Cranky and the engines had to wait for the storm to clear before they could be rescued. The next morning, the Fat Controller went to the docks. Thomas and Percy were coming to help you, Cranky, he said. They'll have you up again in no time. Oh, thank you, said Cranky. Um, can you tell them I'm sorry that I was so mean to them? So it was you that was causing all the trouble, said the Fat Controller. It seems I owe those engines an apology. Thomas and Percy's drivers tried, tied ropes to Cranky and attached them to the engines. Thomas and Percy quickly pulled Cranky back upright. Cranky was very glad to see the world the right way up again. He got straight to work clearing away the rubble. Cranky moved the steamer back into the water and it was carefully tied in place. Then it was safe for him to pull the heavy rubble away from the shed so the trapped engines could get out. Duck, Gordon and James were very grateful. They had not liked being stuck in the shed. They thanked Cranky for his help. Cranky told them Thomas and Percy had rescued him first. I never thought I'd be rescued by a couple of... 
Cranky was about to say bugs, but he stopped himself just in time. Um, he continued, I never thought I would be saved by a couple of small engines. I'll try not to be rude to you again. Thomas and Percy smiled. They were just about to reply when Cranky said, Now move out of the way, you mites. I need to get those trucks. Puh, said Percy. Cranky wasn't polite for long. He's back to bugging us. Percy quickly moved up the track to get out of Cranky's way, but he had forgotten that his ropes were still attached to Cranky. Wait, cried Thomas, but it was too late. As Percy charged forward, the ropes pulled taut and Cranky crashed back to the ground with a thump. Thomas and Percy had to pull Cranky up for the second time. Cranky felt very silly. Now Cranky works well with Thomas and Percy. He still looks down on them from their high perch in the sky, but he never calls them bugs or mites. After that stormy night, he knows they can be really useful engines after all. They had rescued him twice. And if Cranky is ever knocked over again, he knows the little engine will quickly pull him back up his place.